literally my hair came out so good i love it i'm obsessed okay the reason why i have a hood on is because i don't want you to see the results they're amazing willa t14 toner on really brassy hair let's get into it Hey besties, it's Becca. In today's video, we are toning our hair. We just did a fresh bleaching on our hair. It's nice and yellow and we are prepared for Willa T14, but literally my hair is so yellow and orangey. I am hoping that this will combat the disgusting brassiness in my hair i mean t18 you need like a really pale yellow blonde but t14 i'm not sure so this is going to be a complete experiment and i hope it goes well for me first of all hello and second of all do you love my earrings they're from dollarama so I have argan oil in my hair right now, like completely saturated with argan oil, okay? So I was um, doing a little research on oils because, you know, I'm a blonde and I want to keep the oils in my hair and so my hair is not melting off when I bleach or tone. I heard that argan oil is literally the best for your hair and here, true argan oil, okay? I have been doing a little bit of research on oils for the hair because, you know, as a blonde and we melt our hair every single month, I really want to have some good oils in my hair because that's what I'm lacking, okay? Protein and oils, okay? So I did research and they said that argan oil has really small molecules in it that it can actually penetrate right through the hair follicle. And actually it never stops penetrating into the hair. It just keeps penetrating into the hair, which is what you want. Versus coconut oil that just sits on top of your hair or olive oil that just sits on top of your hair because the molecules are too big to actually penetrate into the hair. So there's a little info for you. Basically olive oil and coconut oil, they do nothing really for your hair beneficial except give you a little shine, but you really want to use argan oil. That is where the whipped cream and happy ending is. <laughs> So I just ordered off of Amazon like true organic argan oil because hello, some brands be like hyping up the price just because of the name of it. So I ordered true argan oil with a little dropper and I'm going to put it all over my hair. One and only argan oil and I have it all saturated into my hair right now just because, you know, I did a bleaching and you know, the curls are coming back to life after we did our protein treatment by Afigy as well. So let's just get into the toning because my hair is so disgusting and my mom's coming over and we're going, I have to go grocery shopping. Saturate your hair with some water, okay? Make sure it's like towel damp. Um, I don't recommend using um, a spray bottle because this is gonna take a while, but the fact that I'm too lazy to get up. That plays a big role. <laughs> if you tone your hair dry, it still works. Trust me, your girl has messed up sometimes when I film these videos and I forget to damp my hair and it still comes out really good. So um, yeah, if you forget, no big deal, but it's recommended in the directions to have damp hair. And um, we're almost three months postpartum, so we still have a lot of hair breakage, um, which is normal. Can we normalize that? Because oh, it got in my ear, sorry. Um, that was really gross. This time around with having my son, it was really bad. I lost a lot of hair. Actually, it is a big deal because we lost our hair. <laughs> I know there's a lot of moms out there that deal with this, okay? Don't even come for me, Karen. Don't even. 
Take Your Willa T14. I also bought like a bunch of these because they had 20% off at uh, Sally's. Did you know that Amazon is actually cheaper for Willa toners? Um, they were charging like $9.99 and I went to Sally's and they're 12 like 50. They're upping their game in Sally's, okay? And I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Put on a gas mask because it's literally horrible to smell. And you're just gonna pour it in the bucket. We're not bougie enough for, um, you know, a salon bucket, whatever they're called. We're just basic mom. <laughs> basic mom trying to survive in this chaotic world. You're gonna fill this bottle up with 20 developer. This is basic salon. Karen developer from Sally's. It costed me $12. It's cream. I like cream and um <coughs> stuff is strong. It's right below me, that's why. Fill this up two times with developer, and that is the perfect formula. Okay? But I'm gonna not measure because I'm ratchet. Make sure you guys check out my GoFundMe. It's linked in the bio if you want to help me with my small business creating things. And um, we're already at $320. So um, it's definitely going to take a while to the goal that I want. I want to make like little hats that have like Die Hard Barbie on it. Like merchandise shirts, sweaters, like matching like sweatpants and sweaters. Like I just have so much plans and I want to do it all myself because I don't want no company doing it for me. I want to be the one that does it. And I, I just like that kind of stuff. Like I want to be packaging it. I want to send you like cute notes with the package. Like I want to do it, not you company. I want to do it, okay? In order for me to do that, I need a lot of stuff. Like I need a Cricut, I need like a hat presser. I need like my own website. I need a PO box. I need to finalize my name like with like Ontario. And you know, there's just a ton of, I need like merchandise. I need mail. There's just so much stuff that I need guys. I need two desk, big desk for my basement because we don't have desks down there. And I need like a chair. Like there's so much like little stuff. I need containers. I need like little shelves so I could put like the shirts and all the merchandise on. And I have like a like a decent sized basement, so it's very doable. But whatever you guys can donate is much appreciated. Okay. And whoever donates two hundred dollars, you get a parcel box from me sent to you of my favorite hair products and a couple of merchandise that I first make and a personalized hand note written to you. Just make sure you follow the instructions in the description on sending me your like address and how much you donated and you can send it all to me through Instagram or my Hotmail, which is linked down below. Is I'm gonna start from the top and you can section your hair if you want, but um, I don't have time for that. I'm just going on my roots, okay? You just wanna go on your roots because the roots are like the big problem area because we just bleached our roots and we also did a bleach bath on our hair to get the rest of the dark tones, okay? So I do my roots first, first, first. Oh my gosh, you need gloves too, what am I doing? Get your handy dandy gloves on. It doesn't really matter if you mess up because either way, I find Willa washes completely out after like two and a half weeks, depending on how much you wash your hair. You can use 10 developer as well if you want more color deposited. I bought, now that I'm thinking about it, I bought 10 volume to do that and I totally just messed up. <laughs> oh no, the sun's coming back. <sighs> Hope you guys can still see me. Usually one box does it for me. So yeah. Do you guys see that? I missed a spot. Oh. Oh. Just ignore that. But do you guys see it? 
So my mom is going away in a couple days for like four days. So I won't see her. So um, yeah, I'm going grocery shopping when she gets here. And I wanna go to Dollarama and pick up a couple like more fall stuff maybe, I don't know. Oh my God, I cannot wait for Christmas. Is anyone like on the same boat as me? I just cannot wait. I am so excited. Like I'm already talking about the Christmas tree. I have to go buy a brand new Christmas tree um, this year. So we have to do our eyebrows, so hold on. Yeah, I have to go buy a brand new Christmas tree this year and I'm buying a white one. Um, don't do your eyebrows by the way, cause it's like super dangerous and um, I would hate for something bad to happen to you bestie. So just do not do your eyebrows at home. It's very dangerous. Do you ever get so annoyed with the sun? You're just like, geez. Karen, Karen is the sun today. I'm curious to see if the toner still works on my hair considering my hair is like drenched in argan oil. Because then I'm gonna just keep doing that and just like, you know, have the argan oil in my hair already so that, you know, it gives it a bit of hydration. Yeah, we're gonna have to mix up more because I am not gonna have enough, which is no big deal. Always buy two boxes just in case, guys, because like I have really thick hair and um, yeah, it just, that did just my roots. I'm gonna come back once my roots are a bit darker and then we will apply the 10 developer all over my head. It's been like 20 minutes and it's super dark. Um, I can still see a bit of yellow in it, so I'm a bit worried. Well, I did two things differently. When I bleached my hair, instead of using 30 developer, what I usually use, uh, because of postpartum and like pregnancy hormones, my hair is just stubborn and won't lift, but usually 20 developer does it. I went back down to 20 developer this time just to see if it would lift, and it didn't lift as what I wanted it to lift, the 20 developer. So my roots were a bit orangey yellow. So usually that doesn't happen. So we're gonna take the rest of the color and we are gonna put it everywhere, everywhere. And hopefully it comes out not blue. <sighs> Honestly, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Your guess is just as good as mine. I did take the toner off my eyebrows and they're looking fantastic. And I don't recommend anyone tone their eyebrows. So I just mix it in like this and I pray to God that my hair turns out somewhat decent. Let's go wash it out. <laughs> so this is the final result with using Willa T14, my favorite toner. I am a T18 gal, but I am just loving the darker gray ash look. I look horrible in yellow tone hair. I don't know what it is, like yellows, like just like medium blonde. I look horrible. I only look good with cool tones in my hair. I don't know why. This is what the hair color turned out. Nice and beautiful. To be honest, my hair is still kind of a bit like damp. I straighten my hair with damp hair. Do not do that. It is horrible for your hair. As for my yellow roots, I will show you. They are a bit yellow and a bit orangey, a tiny bit. It's not that noticeable from like far away. It kind of looks like a shadow root. It is what it is. And I thought that I could get away with using only 20 developer in my hair instead of doing 30. But I guess I'm too soon because I'm only, I'm not even three months postpartum yet. I will on the 20th, I'll be three months postpartum. 
So sometimes I find that it takes about like eight to nine months for my hair to get like the normal pH balance in my hair. I can start using the 20 developer in my hair instead of 30 because 30 is like frying. Also, your girl cut her bangs. We love a good bang look. Like I just love a good bang. I don't know what it is. I think I'm like, my mom's wearing off on me a little bit too much, but I just love the bang look. Like, look how cute it looks like half up, okay? Just look how cute it looks like when you have your hair up in like a little cute, like little, like, hello, I'm mama too. Scooch over, Karen. <laughs> As for the products that I used in my hair today is I did do my favorite two-step protein treatment in my hair to put more protein before we did our bleaching and toning. I used my favorite Afogee two-step protein treatment in my hair as well before I did my bleaching and toning and I waited 48 hours for it to like really absorb into my hair. And that works fantastic because it helps my hair not to melt off because I'm pretty sure I dyed my hair like three weeks ago. I have a video step-by-step step on how to use a protein treatment. You have to be very careful with this. So I'll link the video down below. And I used a pro vitamin leave-in conditioner spray in my hair after I got out of the shower. And it smells amazing and it does such a great job. I love it so much. I highly recommend buying it if you are looking for a spray in leave-in conditioner. It is a pro vitamin, so it's gonna put all the vitamins that your hair is lacking. And our hair is always lacking something. If you are looking for like a really lightweight conditioner that smells really good, but actually is doing something, it is the line by Afogee Curlific and it's their moisture rich leave in spray. I use this every time that I do wash my hair and I need like a good conditioner spray after I get out. And also, mind you, I have curly hair. So sometimes the knots in my hair, it is literally a nightmare. So when I spray this in my hair, it takes out all the tangles in my hair and you don't really need that much and it smells amazing. It leaves your hair soft and moisturized and shiny for a couple of days. I'm not even lying. I love this product. I will stand by Apogee forever. I literally love them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out my GoFundMe and donate what you can to help your girl and your bestie um, try to make her own business. Please give it a like and subscribe and I hope to see you guys in my next freaking video. Bye guys.